it really felt like Chinese food, it really felt like something spicy. And I was looking around and I found this Sichuan place. I know I'm in Japan, but like, I, I just really wanted something ultra spicy tonight. And I found this, this place looks really, really legit. It's clean inside, it's huge. Um, you order off this iPad. Luckily there's Chinese on here, so I can read this. Ooh, Lao Tzu Hua Sheng? Wow, peanuts and vinegar. I never had this before. Let's do it. Let's do it. I'm assuming that's ad. Kou shui qi. Wow, that looks good. Saliva chicken. Oh man, all this looks insane. Main courses, there's a big fish. I mean, these are definitely not cheap. And I saw this walk in. This is a huge sesame ball. All right, I see a lot of people getting this. Skewers. Okay, I got a lot, but you gotta check this out. This thing tastes good. I, I hate recommending Chinese food in, in, in Japan, but if it's good, I'm gonna have to recommend this place. First dish, appetizer. This is the this is the peanuts um, in, in vinegar. I never had it in vinegar before. This is really interesting. So, wow, not only is it soaked in vinegar, it's got jalapenos in here, chilies in here. Whoa, this thing might be pretty darn good. This is amazing. Oh, this is amazing. Mmm. I'm gonna create a recipe for this dish. Alright, I switched to better audio because I think I found a gem here. This is the second dish. It's basically a bunch of skewers soaked in hot oil and spices. So it's a mix of veggies and meats. We got some baby corn, um, some tripe, tofu skin, uh, looks like chicken, bamboo, shrimp, uh, mushrooms. What is this? Like spam? Wow. Wood ear, fungus basically. And what is this? I think this is like, I think, yeah, I think this is either cow stomach or cow esophagus. This could be really, really insane. I gotta try this out. Oh, it's good. Whoa. There's so much heat. I can't believe it. This place is off the hook. This is insane. This is their water braised fish. They brought it to me in a bathtub. You could bathe people in here. Okay, so there's potatoes, um, obviously tons of uh, peppercorn, chilies. This whole thing is, is red. Scallions, mushrooms, onions. Typically this dish is brought to you in a, in a, in a big bowl and the fish is filleted. But look at, this is just, here's a big chunk of fish here. The fish head is right here. This fish, oh, that just fell off. Oh, that's great. I, I, I'm a little sad because I wish I got the roasted fish instead, but this is still good. I wanted the wrong fish. So maybe next time um, I come back, because there will be a next time, where if you guys come here, get the roasted fish. I apparently ordered a balloon. This is a huge sesame ball. This is a legit balloon right now. And you tear it apart, you just eat it like, like a, like a non bread. Hey look, sesame ball halo. And what you do is, to give you the gloves, and you like, I don't know how else to do this. And you rip a part off. Look at this. You could literally eat into this. Oh, it's sweet. It's sweet, it's a little mochi-ish. This on its own is still this on its own is actually pretty good. It tastes like a Chinese sesame ball. If you ever had it at a Chinese bakery, it's sweet, fragrant, a little oily, pretty good. I got this because I wanted some pig's feet. I love pig's feet. And they call it like a beauty pig's feet because it has a lot of collagen, which is supposed to be really good for the skin. So ladies love this. Ladies and, and, and me. I've always had like Chinese uh, pig's feet just braised or boiled, never covered in chilies. Oh, this is so good. Whoa. Look, I know a lot of you guys probably never had pig's feet before, but those of you who like pig's feet, this is next level stuff. Oh my God. This restaurant is so good. And this is just a few dishes I tried. I can't wait to come back and try more dishes. Love, love the tofu skin. You gotta utilize that sauce. Right now, I ordered about five dishes. Every one of them knocked it out of the park. I mean, big sesame ball. All right, that, that just for fun. That's I, I wanted to get a big sesame ball. The peanuts, this is so ridiculously good. Pig's feet, 
Oh my gosh, ladies, really, the pig's feet, full collagen, really, really, really good for your skin. It's a true medicinal food. But guys, hey, we want good skin too, so it's good for you and it's just so, so yummy. Make, make sure you get this too, because this sauce is insane. All right, this is so good, I had to get another dish. I needed some beef, so I've got a beef dish. Also, what they told me was this dip, this, so this is cold dishes, like vegetables and meat, right? They're able to put some rice noodles inside this insane sauce for me. That is exciting stuff. I discovered something really cool. I took the fish and I'm putting it inside this vinegar sauce, so, so it's gonna be, the sauce is a little sweet, a little vinegary. Call me a mad food scientist, but that's delicious. Oh my God, my noodles are here. Okay, so this is going in. Oh, this is so cool. This noodle is gonna just have a little soiree with the sauce. Oh, it's getting all nice and mixed. Oh my gosh, look at this. That's out of this world. I know how to make it better though. Only thing I feel like the noodle needs is a little vinegar. So, little noodles soaked up in this sesame spicy sauce. Get some of this vinegar sauce. That's so good I wanna cry. Oh yeah. Oh my. I'm so happy right now. My new beef dish is here. So this is called a dry pot beef. So basically it's like a stir fry hot pot covered in chilies, of course, onions, potatoes. Oh, oh man. Oh, that's full of flavor. I've had this type of dishes a lot. It's never as flavorful as what I'm having right now. In Chinese, this dish is called mala xiangguo, spicy, nummy, fragrant pot. This thing 100% lives up to the name. The beef is so tender, but everything about this, there's so much fragrance, there's so much flavor. This is what I think of when I want to taste this dish. Everything that's in here. I ate a lot tonight. Okay, I'll be back to try some more. Now I just gotta go back home and go to bed. <laughs> hey guys, so this video is a little weird because the timelines have been messed up. What happened was one day I really wanted Chinese food and I found this restaurant. I uh, wasn't gonna film there because come on, Chinese food in Tokyo, like how good could it be? It was amazing. So I ended up filming while I was eating and then I'm back again to eat some more because it is that good. Oh, I ordered a lot. Bunch of little dishes, couple of main dishes, one noodle. They made their own fresh mooncakes? No way. That's pretty amazing. Happy Moon Festival, everybody. Well, by the time you watch this, it's been a while, so. Happy super, super, super belated Moon Festival, everybody. Hope you had a good one. Oh yeah. Oh, this is the must get dish of this restaurant. Got some chicken feet, cause, yeah, I was just craving some chicken feet to know on. Oh, Ah, yeah. 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 husband and a wife, lung slices. Sounds gruesome, actually delicious. This is a dish I wanted to try. Never had it here before. Mapo tofu in a stone clay pot. The spinach dish in uh, sesame sauce is actually really amazing here. This is the Chongqing noodles. Oh my gosh, this is a, actually a really big bowl. Little thin noodles, some veggies on top. Got a lamb pot. First thing I gotta start with, these peanuts again. My favorite thing. It's garlicky, it's vinegary. No, it's awesome as well. This is really like our usually overlooked dish. Because contrary to popular belief, I, I am healthy every now and then. This dish will make you want to channel your inner Popeye. One of my all-time favorite Sichuan dishes. Husband and wife long slices, basically tripe, beef, and um, some cow stomach covered in chili peppers and peppercorn. It is really good here. Very nummy and very spicy. But here's the thing, dip it in this sauce. Oh man, look at these noodles. Pickle vegetables on top. This place is on fire. Everything it makes is so spicy. I think I would like a little more vinegar in here.
No. That's right. Oh, got the nice stabbing pain that only good citron food can bring you. I got that. This is a new dish. I wanted to try this last time. The hair tail fish I had in Korea, except for this is the Chinese style, which they usually chop it in sections. Fried with chili and peppercorn. This, you eat it almost like a rib, and that's typically what we do. Use your hands for sure on this one. You just move the two roll of bones on either side. Perfectly crispy. And you take this like you're eating a rib. Perfectly white and flaky. Look at that. Look how juicy that is. Lamb hot pot. I love radish. Every time radish is in a stew and absorbs all that good stuff, that's what you want. Oh, look at this lamb. Bit of the skin, the fat, the meat. Oh, that was tender for radish. This lamb pot. It's gonna be a little gamey. Not too bad, I mean, just slightly, but it's still noticeable. So if you can't take any of the gaminess of lamb, probably don't get this. Oh, mapo tofu. That's a winner. That's great mapo tofu. Yummy, spicy, tofu is insanely tender. Right, one last thing to try out. Chicken feet, not everyone's favorite. It's actually my favorite flavor of chicken feet. It's a little sour, a little spicy. I actually think it's really good. Oh, dessert time. Mochi balls. Perfect. Mooncake time. Oh, let's see what topping this is. Ooh, it looks like mumby. Mumby. I think my favorite dish this year. The peanuts. Love the hair tail fish. Love the beef dry pot. Actually, any of those dry pots, amazing. I haven't had the roasted fish. Can't tell yet. The other fish was, was, was good, but I think the roasted fish, if you want a fish, I think that's what you get. And of course, if you want to come here, I'm going to put the location for you in my description box below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Until we eat again, 